Okay, so good morning, guys. It is the morning of day 17, and I am at home. It is a Wednesday. This marks the same point in Whole30 where I cheated the very next day <laughs> in February. I wanted to discuss something that I don't really talk about on this channel or with other people in general um, for various reasons, and that is my ADD. <laughs> people who have done Whole30, I don't think it's the actual founders of Whole30, but people who have done Whole30 have made wild claims about the things that Whole30 has cured. And I'm, I mean cured. Um, things from like lupus and celiac disease and IBS, diabetes, um, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, that sort of thing. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure Whole30 helps with some of these ailments, um, especially I know um, there are some types of diabetes that is diet related and completely within people's control if they change their their diets and their activity levels um, under the close watch of a doctor. Same thing with high cholesterol. You can get that down with diet and um, your doctor's guidance. But to say that it cures, you know, Lyme disease or IBS or lupus, um, there's a whole list of things that I found that it was claiming to cure. I don't believe that. Maybe spend some time Googling and researching on your own to see the science behind what this particular diet could or could not accomplish for you. Talk to your doctor. But the one that I can speak on on a personal level is ADD. <laughs> there is nothing that is going to cure ADD. That's, that's the truth. I am diagnosed ADD and um, non-medicated right now. How my brain works and how I process things and impulsivity and that sort of thing. I have to say, um, as much as I was hoping that this, it, at the very least, wouldn't affect that side of me, it has. It's affected it. I feel like I am way more scatterbrained, way more just in a fog since starting Whole30 both times. Last month when I broke Whole30 for Valentine's Day and restarted and had sugar, I, I won't say that I was back to the way it was before Whole30, but it was certainly, there was something that I ate that helped kind of clear some of that fog away and I felt more like myself. I'm finding myself having a really difficult time collecting my thoughts, um, being coherent, like at work when I'm trying to, <laughs> my job, aside from being physical, is also very meticulous. I have to focus on numbers and there's a lot of numbers that look the same, a lot that there's slight variations and it's, it's all just you have to pay attention and you have to be able to decipher things. And it's been extremely hard for me. And I'm not saying that I won't overcome this and that I'm completely at a loss and, you know, there's no coming back. But having coffee definitely helps me. Um, that's typically what I use in my day-to-day -day life as needed anyway, um, in terms of medicating. But it just bothers me that someone thinks that things like this can just magically be cured. It's not something that can be cured. It's a chemical imbalance in your brain and it causes all kinds of issues. I will have it for the rest of my life. Um, it could get better, it could get worse, but it's never going to not be present in my life. It's part of who I am. My energy level is about what you would expect it to be, uh, creeping up to my my menstrual cycle. I hate that term, but anyway. <laughs> I'm tired. I was super grumpy yesterday for the first half of the, of the day. Then I had some coffee finally. I don't know why I didn't have coffee before, like halfway through my day. 
and I felt much better about a lot of things and much more positive. Hope everyone enjoys the Zoidberg cameo. <laughs> kind of second guessing what I came up with for my run. My boyfriend's been talking to me a lot recently about his concerns with my choices and this long run because it is the longest run that I will have ever done. It's two weekends away. I don't think that's enough time for me to do trials on the stuff I have purchased and being able to rely on it to work. So it's three days before my Whole30 finishes. So unfortunately, I do believe that I'm going to be finishing on the 27th day <laughs> instead of the 30th day. I need to make sure that I take care of myself in my body, accomplish this run. That to me is more important than finishing this crash course diet thing. <laughs> I can appreciate the reasons behind wanting to eliminate these sugars and you know everything else on my diet. I have to have it as a long distance runner. I have to have sugar in my system. It's, it's critical for my success. And while I am taking away a lot from Whole30 that I have learned and I appreciate this new knowledge that I have gained, I also have to be respectful of myself in the long term. And long term, I'm going to be a runner. That's what it is. I'm not going to win races, but I'm a runner. And being an endurance athlete, you have to have certain things in your diet carbs and sugars and that sort of thing that's that is what's necessary to fuel long distance anything I'm going to use the supplements that I am used to to get me through this race and I feel like they might even be more effective for me at my race day because I haven't had you know processed refined sugar um, in so long that I feel like it's just going to give my body an extra boost on that day, which I'm definitely going to need. Um, I want to ensure that I'm getting the proper amount of electrolytes and hydration that I need. And, you know, once I said it out loud, I think that's when I became okay with this idea because I don't have to prove anything to anyone. I don't have to prove that I can go a whole 30 days on this diet. I, I'm doing 27 days. I did 17 days previous to that. Um, I'm kind of tired of having to pass people up, you know, offers of snacks or like the other day our boss bought us all pizza, our department, and I had to say no to it all. And then he turned around and did it again like a week later because we were doing so well at work. And I had to say no again. <laughs> and then there was a... Uh, friend in the shipping office and she had brought in some candy that she got while she was on vacation that she thought that we would enjoy and I had to say no to that and it was it's just it's making me feel like <laughs> I'm upsetting people that you know are trying to do nice things for for me and I'm not trying to be rude and you know these people don't know that I'm doing Whole30. It's not like I'm walking around preaching the word of Whole30, but I don't like to be an ass <laughs> to people. <laughs> that is it for today. I will update you guys on another day.